Welcome to two examples of how to rationalize the denominator of a fraction. To rationalize the denominator of a fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by a radical that will clear the radical from the denominator. So looking at our first fraction, we have 1 over the square root of 14, or 1 divided by the square root of 14. So the first thing to recognize here is if the square root of 14 does not simplify perfectly, and in fact it does not simplify at all, because it does not contain any perfect square factors. 14 is equal to 2 times 7. So to clear the square root from the denominator, we need to recognize that we need to have two factors of 14 under the square root so that the radicand is a perfect square, which means to rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 14. So now multiplying in the numerator, we have 1 times square root 14, which equals square root 14, which we know does not simplify. Now looking at the denominator, we have the square root of 14 times the square root of 14, which equals the square root of 14 times 14. Notice now we have a perfect square under the square root, and this will simplify perfectly. The square root of 14 times 14, or the square root of 14 squared, will simplify to one factor of 14. So now we have the square root of 14 over 14, or the square root of 14 divided by the square root of 14, and now we have rationalized the denominator. Let's look at our second example. We have 6 divided by the square root of 6, or 6 over the square root of 6. Again, the first thing to recognize here is that the denominator does not simplify perfectly because 6 is not a perfect square, and the square root of 6 does not simplify at all because 6 does not have any perfect square factors. 6 equals 2 times 3. And therefore, in order to clear the square root from the denominator, we need two factors of 6 under the square root which means we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 6. Multiplying in the numerator, we have 6 times square root 6, which equals 6 square root 6. Multiplying in the denominator, we have the square root of 6 times 6. Now, once again, notice how we have a perfect square under the square root, and therefore the square root simplifies perfectly. The square root of 6 times 6 to the square root of 6 squared simplifies to one factor of 6. So now we have 6 square root 6 divided by 6, or over 6. So now notice the denominator is rationalized, but notice how the fraction does simplify because we have a common factor of 6 between the numerator and denominator. 6 over 6, or 6 divided by 6, simplifies to 1, and therefore this fraction simplifies nicely to just the square root of 6. So it is important that after we rationalize the denominator, we see if we can simplify the resulting fraction. And the square root of 6 does have a rational denominator, because the square root of 6 as a fraction would be the square root of 6 over 1. I hope you found this helpful.